In today's uh, gospel lesson, the disciples get on a boat to go on ahead of Jesus. I, I don't know that it ever enters their mind, how is Jesus going to catch up with us when we're on the water, but I'm sure they thought somehow he would get there. The interesting thing that it says is that when the disciples uh, came to what realize what was going on, it was dark. Darkness is usually, in the Bible, especially the New Testament and along the ministry of Jesus, is always a sign that something is bad. Uh, darkness has a tendency to be that which brings out those fears that maybe we have. And not only was it dark, but there was a storm. One of the things that we're learning as we follow Jesus' life is that it's not always sunshine and mountaintops. Sometimes it's valleys, and sometimes it's even dark where we're living. And yes, we humans have a tendency to be afraid. And in the midst of their fear, and in the midst of the storm, they ask an interesting question. Where is Jesus? Have you ever asked that question in the midst of a trial or a tribulation or a suffering period in your life? Well, where is, where is Jesus? Is he going to show up? Is he going to help me with this uh, problem that I'm going through? Well, sure enough, as we already know, Jesus comes walking out on the water and comes toward them. And when Jesus arrives into this scene of serious fear on the part of the disciples, who had just been with Jesus a moments before and seen a tremendous miracle, he gives them a six-word statement that helps them to handle their fears and I think will help each one of us. He says, it is I, don't be afraid. A lot of times if I'm telling the people in my congregation or someone I'm counseling, don't be afraid, it's nothing more than mere words almost, like, you know, screw up your courage, do the best you can, whistle by the graveyard, cheer up, that sort of a thing. But Jesus doesn't base this idea of not being afraid on some gimmick. He bases it on his personal presence. The reason they didn't have to be afraid was the fact that Jesus is there and Jesus was with them. So, it is likewise with us. The reason that we aren't to be afraid isn't because we're not facing fearful things. And the reason that we shouldn't fear isn't because we have a lot of buddies and friends and family or resources to help us. The only reason that we shouldn't be afraid is the fact that we, like the disciples, have the personal presence of Jesus Christ. And that will always be enough to cast out all of our fears. God bless you, and let's continue walking with Jesus to Jerusalem.